Hey guys, it's Chris with A Action. Uh, today I'm out and uh, checking out uh, some flood houses down in Maryland. Uh, I have my uh, good friend here, Mario. He's uh, the AC guy I recommend for all my properties. And he's gonna walk you through some of the steps of how he's better insulating the properly, pro pro property and uh, putting in a radiant barrier. He's gonna tell you how, how he mixed the chemical and also um, uh, the steps that he's taking up to seal all the joints inside. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mario and I'm with Mature Multi Services. Uh, thank you, Chris, for the introduction. So we're doing a house uh, flip here in Meyerland Plaza. It's one of the houses flooded. And what we're doing is we're gonna uh, do some improvements as far as the insulation. Uh, we're gonna put radiant barrier, we're gonna put uh, R30 for the blown insulation, and we're gonna foam the walls. And this is gonna drastically lower down the electric bill for the homeowner as well as uh, putting a new condenser outside. We did a heat load calculation after that uh, Considering the blown insulation the radium barrier and the, and the foam on all the outer walls And we're going to reduce by half a ton the tonnage on, on this uh, home So we'll be looking at that uh, the radium barrier is the first step that we did and We use powderized aluminum with a water-based adhesive and that's be that been straight on and the next thing we're gonna we did is seal all the cracks with foam before we do the uh, the foaming the wall so that nothing spills out and uh, that's what we're gonna do so we'll see the next step okay so I want to show you some of the rain berry has been applied already and what we do before as a prep is cover all the doors and windows with plastic it's not going to adhere to it when it falls down, but it will get on it. So we want to avoid that, especially on some doors that the customer has that they're going to be cedar wood and we don't want to stain that. So that's why we also cover all those doors, which are over here. Like this is his main entrance and this is cedar door. So we have to seal all that up. Okay, also another thing we did is we, we, we have to plug all the vents, the supplies and the returns so that we don't get any dust, powderized aluminum dust inside the ductwork so that it stays clean. And over here is the return, that one was also sealed. It's just a temporary thing. We'll be removing that shortly. Okay guys, so as a last note, as far as pre preparing the area for the foaming before the foaming we have to seal all the cracks around the windows every little hole and the reason for that is so that when we foam and if you had those cracks the foam is going to push through that crack and it's going to push the party board or any any material whatever it could be even brick it can push it out so we have to pre prevent that from happening by sealing with foam before we do that all right guys, that's some really great tips on how to better insulate and seal up your property for foam in insulation install. If you have any more questions or like to know any more tips of the trade when it comes to HVAC installs or home inspections, please give us a call. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you.